listen, this is this is going to be um just a little um, update uh, for those of you who wanted me to do more frequent videos. Um, this is day four of the Master Cleanse, the end of day four practically. I'm almost done with my um, lemonade. I have that much left. And um, as of today, I am down four pounds. Only day that I worked out was yesterday. We went for about a four, four mile walk. Felt really, really good. I'm hoping that I can try running tomorrow, but I'll probably run on the treadmill because I think it's going to rain this weekend. So I'll probably try the treadmill and see how I feel. Um, but I kind of want to just test the waters today or yesterday rather just to walk. Um, and then today I didn't do anything. Um, now, the first couple days I was tired. And honestly, that was because I wasn't getting all my lemonade in. The maple syrup is what gives you energy because it's your sugar, it's your calories. And so the first two days I was trying to do um, my uh, lemonade as I needed it. So I was really trying to do it one serving at a time and it was just too hard. Like I was so, I got so behind because I was out doing things. I got behind and so I only got in I think three bottles, maybe four, um, the first two days. It wasn't until yesterday and today that I was able to actually really catch up. But that was because I started doing my... Um, eliminate in half doses so basically this is what I make for half a day and then once I'm done with this I make the other one. So this is the second one that I've had today and it's about seven o'clock right now 7 30 and so um, when I'm done with this I'll kind of let that settle a little bit and then I'll do my tea right before I go to bed and so that's pretty much how I'm doing it um, there's been a lot of temptation a ton of temptation just when you, I mean, when you cleanse, like your sense of smell was just that much greater, and uh, you can smell everything, like all the ingredients in food, you can smell everything, and so it just makes it that much harder. Um, my little guy started eating today, which is so amazing. I tried, um, what was it, sweet potato and corn, I think, with him. He didn't care much for it. It ended up all on his bib. He didn't. I don't think he ate any of it. Um, but there was a point where I got some on my finger, and I was gonna lick it. And I I had to catch myself. And I feel like my energy is definitely up. Um, what else? Someone asked when do I weigh myself. I weigh myself before I do the salt water flush in the morning. So that way I'm on an empty stomach and everything. I did the tea last night and I did say in my last video that it does lead to discomfort, cramping, bowel movement. It doesn't always because I did it last night. I had no cramping, no discomfort. I had no bowel movement or anything like that. Um, but normally I would. I don't know why I didn't yesterday. Someone asked me this, and I don't know if anybody else wants to know, but I'm going to answer it. Okay, someone asked if, about the movements, <laughs> the movements from the saltwater flush and the, the tea. If it was like a diarrhea, kind of, like if it's like a wear some depends, no, it's not that serious. It's totally not that serious. Um... And I think the biggest misconception is that you're going to be pooping all day. That is so not the case. Like, the only time that you'll pretty much go is any time after you do the tea, because it's a laxative tea. Um, so that could, whenever you take it, after that point, there's a possibility that you're going to have a, a bowel movement. Um, and then with the uh, saltwater flush, usually about 30 minutes or so after you drink it, you'll start feeling... The bubble in your stomach, like bubble guts, is that what they call it? Um, in your stomach, and then you know you gotta start. You're gonna start going. Normally, that lasts about two hours. Usually, it doesn't last any longer than that. Longer than that for me. Um, so once I do the salt water flush, and I am completely done, that's when I know I can start my day. Like I'm not gonna head out and run errands at with salt water in my damn system, knowing that I'm gonna have to use the bathroom out. And so that's one thing. Um, what else? Oh, someone asked about the, about the tea. This is the tea that I use. This is the only one that I use. It's by um, Traditional Medicinals. Traditional Medicinals. And it's, I got this one from Rite Aid. I've also bought it from CVS and Target. And they do sell this at most stores. Um, and it's pretty affordable. Five, five bucks, six bucks. Um, and this is a box of 16. So if you're doing, if you're doing a 10 day cleanse at the least, you only need one box. So I'm going to definitely pick up another box of, um, of this probably next week sometime. Someone asked in my last video and I answered it in the, in the video. Yes, I'll be working out. No, you can't eat anything. No, you can't take any pills or medication. Um, and I went over the ingredients too. Um, the water is 60 ounces. The maple syrup grade B and the lemon juice is both 12 tablespoons. 
cayenne pepper is half a teaspoon all right and so but what I do when I do this I put the half in there so technically I'm using two I'm using a full tea actually yeah full teaspoon but that's just because I actually like that extra kick that you get from the cayenne pepper oh and then I wanted to share this tip I shared this tip years ago years ago and I think it's the best tip that I can think of or the best way that you can get your saltwater flush down. Like I remember in the past, like twice, two occasions, I drank the saltwater flush and it was just too much and I threw it back up. And I'm telling you, it was 10 times worse coming up than it was going down. And so this technique that I'm gonna tell you about is like the best, the best way to get it down. So you have two 16 ounce bottles, right? These are actually 16.9 ounces. I pour a little bit off the top so that it's an even 16. I put my two teaspoons of sea salt in here and shake it up real, real good, and um, this one stays just plain water. You want to down the salt water, and then you want to chase it with the, with the regular clean water. Um, or you can go salt water, clean salt, like that, but always end up with the clean water because that washes all that salt out of your mouth. And so that's like the best thing I can think of. That's how I, that's the only way I can get the salt water um, down because it's just, I mean, it's, it's easier for me, I think, because it's 16 ounces of salt water versus 32 ounces of salt water. There's quite a few of you guys that are doing it right now, which is totally awesome. Um, I am going to try to post another video probably at the end of this week. Um, but as of now, I am down four pounds so far, which is average of a pound a day, um, which is pretty normal for me. If I, once I start working out, that could go up between, I'll say two to three pounds per day, which is not kind of what I want to do because um, I do want to continue to stay on the cleanse. Now, the only reason why I'm okay with going 21 days is because I feel like I have the weight to... to I, I'm okay with losing the weight um, versus if I was starting off at a much lower weight, I would probably only do 10 days. So my corset right now, I am definitely going to be wearing it. I actually, when I took my before pictures, I did not wear it for the that four days prior. So I wanted my pictures to be... Um, be real, you know, because if I had been corset training, then it wouldn't have been real, right? Because I'm corset training. So I kind of wanted to do my before pictures um, without wearing the corset. So I purposely did not wear it for three or four days, four days um, before I took those pictures, all right? And so I am wearing it now. And um, this is what it's looking like right now. And this is how it looks like in the back. And yeah. And so, yeah, but. Other than that, you guys, if you guys have any other questions, definitely ask. I'll leave it there, and I will see you guys in a couple of days. Okay.